Hello everybody, Uncle Wooly here for part 14 of our journey through Elden Ring with our boy Papu. How are you doing, Wimpy? GG's on first. Also, uh, Faye, it is good to see you. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Hopefully everybody had a wonderful weekend. Happy Monday. If you uh, are uh, observing an advent calendar, well, it's uh, day four of that. And around this household, that means day four of uh, Brewdog beers because I have been doing the Brewdog uh, advent calendar this year, and I did it last year and enjoyed it enough that I decided to do it again. Uh, tonight's entry in the calendar is from, of course, Brewdog, brewed in Ohio, not to be confused with their flagship location in Scotland, although I really want to go there someday. Uh, this one is the Imperial Hazy Jane. It is a double New England style IPA. It clocks in at 9%. And uh, their phrase on this is embrace the opaque. And yeah, they make solid IPAs, so I'm a big fan. <laughs> this one should be good. I had this one uh, last year as well. Today is Remy's presumed B-Day since he was a rescue and they weren't sure about his exact birthday, so he chose December 4th. Well, happy birthday to, uh, to Remy. That is exciting, dude. Uh, and as such, I guess we better sing happy birthday, right? We can do that, I think. Uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and do that. Happy, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Hope you have a happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Remy. <laughs> what a good boy. What a good boy. Speaking of puppies, I will give you some puppies while we get this beer all situated here. Charlie was barely on camera earlier, and Lucy's being elusive. She's just off to the side. <laughs> but they definitely wish Remy a happy birthday. At least Roxy does. <laughs> Charlie and Lucy being very elusive tonight. The treat's not possible. What? Let me, uh... Oh, I think I didn't uh, get a lot of the channel points uh, re-enabled after last stream. Let me take care of that. We can make that happen. Bear with me. Bear with me here. Okay. What did we have for redeems? We uh, unpause the beans, unpause the fiery five in that. And that, and that. Gonna try that. Okay, I, I will. I will uh, act uh, surprised. Oh, Remy! Thank you. Happy birthday, dude. Happy birthday, Remy. We can definitely do the puppy treat. One second here as I get this thing posted. Uh, 
and wimpy. Um, they are seasonally uh, themed treats. I'll have you know. I'll show you here. They are lumps of coal. <laughs> That's what they're getting tonight. Come puppy. One, two, and oh, that's three. And the ingredients for this one, are oat flour, peanut butter, molasses, rolled oats, coconut, uh, glycerin, black seed, vegetable oil, uh, bone charcoal, and citric acid for preservative. Aw, what a good boy. What a good boy Remy is. <laughs> All right, dogs. <laughs> Welcome in, K squared. Hey, can you, Roxy, can you move? Can you move? You already got yours, Charlie. Are you a hobbit? You've had one treat, yes, but what about second treat? Sorry, there is no second treat. At least not for a couple hours. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Charlie. <laughs> that little boy. I tell you. And again, happy birthday to Remy. Thanks for the puppy treat right away there. That is all too kind of you. And I just have to uh, lead in to tonight's stream with a bit of a disclaimer, uh, especially for anybody that was around last week and saw me take down eight bosses in one stream. Um, be prepared that this stream might look nothing like that. <laughs> might look nothing like that. Because uh, eight bosses in one stream is, is a lot for any Souls game, so. And it's going to get more festive in here as uh, the week progresses, but uh, that's that's what we got for now, <laughs> for the festivities. We'll now hold you to that standard, uh, Wimpy. Prepare to be disappointed. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Happy holidays, or hoppy holidays, rather. Um, this is the fourth entry in the advent calendar from BrewDog. It is the Imperial Hazy Jane Double IPA. Big cheers. Oh, man. That's just so good. Their beers are just spot on. Uh, the ones that I've had so far were Hoppy Christmas. They had a Christmas IPA. Mm, beer. Wimpy, let me know what your next sound is, and we can get that going for you. Uh, let me know, and... Beer. Okay, that's... <laughs> maybe I should uh, make that only a, a once per stream thing. <laughs> or maybe up the cost. Mm, beer times two. Let me know, dude. <laughs> um, but the previous entries in the advent calendar, the first day was the Hoppy Christmas IPA. The second day was the Fake Empire Amber Ale. And yesterday was the uh, Santa Paws. 
which was a cranberry grapefruit IPA, which was really good. The cranberry was nice and tart, but also sweet, and the uh, underlying grapefruit was still very present. It didn't get lost in the uh, the cranberry, which is very easy to, to happen with cranberry beers. Saved up a while for those because I finally thought of two that you want. No change in the rules. Well, the fun thing is, is I can change the rules. <laughs> but in this instance, I won't, Wimpy. Okay? Just for you. Just for this once. <laughs> All right. Elden Ring. Uh, eight bosses tonight. I'll be happy if we get a couple. But we'll see. We will see what we can pull off here. And we are 53 hours in at rune level 72 with Papu. I'll have them in the morning. Excellent, dude. And I will do my very best to get them on and ready before Wednesday's stream. Although I will just let you know I've been really bad at that lately. Uh, I think we got a red letter last time. Let's take a peek at this red letter that we got. There it is. A written request from Volcano Manor disclosing the name of a tarnished to be hunted. As the final request, the letter is vivid red. Juno Haslo, Knight of Blood. He can be found in the mountaintops of the giants. Find the red mark on your map for the exact location. All right, so we, uh, we have our quarry. The question is, we have not been there. <laughs> That's way out there. So with that being said, Let's do some other exploring first. Uh, we just got to the Shaded Castle last week, too, so I do want to check that out. But I think I have some unfinished business in the uh, Limgrave Tunnels. So we're going to go take a peek at that. A little dark in here. There we are. Ouch, dude, ouch. You have to say the um, the Brewdog Advent Calendar has been one of my favorite things uh, of the holiday season, although a bit uh, on the spendy side. But I think for me, it's more so the experience type of thing, and less so, you know, because like that much beer obviously would not cost that much normally. Roxy, did you know that our smoke detector was going to go off? Is that why you've been wrestling around? <laughs> and I was watching our friend uh, Pwami's play some Elden Ring on Sunday. And I noticed uh, she already had her flask to plus six. I feel like I uh, have a bit of work to do here. My flask is just a little, uh, little under leveled. It feels like. Oh, so there was a spot. 
I could jump to that I just saw there. Maybe I did that last time. Okay, because I got down here and it was like a, a land of uh, just nothing going on. Other than wiping out these mobs, there wasn't a whole lot down here. I wonder if that lift is what I needed to, uh, to utilize last time I was here. Yeah, and I want to say, yeah, it was this way. Can't believe I didn't see it. Aha! Yep. Yeah. Did not see this last time. Very nice. Hopefully everybody's having a great Monday. Hopefully at a great weekend. Did a little bit of holiday shopping on Saturday and uh, a little bit of decorating yesterday. to there, but... Okay, this looks like some boss territory. So, let's go ahead and uh, throw up a prediction. I'm gonna do one of the multi-choice ones. If you want to get your channel points in, uh, first try, 2 through 5, 6 to 10, or 11 plus. Feel free to get your channel points in on that prediction there. Um, looks like this is going to be a rough go just to get down without dying. <laughs> yeah, not too bad. Oh, I could have picked up whatever that was. But the channel point prediction is open for about another minute and a half here. Where's my mouse? Did my mouse die on me again? I hope so. Uh, festive tomato. That would be sweet. <laughs> that would be sweet. If I could uh, time it up with that, that would be awesome. Welcome in, by the way. Good to see you. Hopefully you're having a great Monday so far. Feel free to get some channel points in on that prediction. We got just about another minute here. Oh my goodness. And the elusive ones have claimed the uh, puppy thrones. <laughs> Lucy and Charlie. My goodness, puppy dogs. My goodness. All right, let's get on in here. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's one of the uh, Stone Digger trolls. Uh, we did one of these last week. So far, he's uh, hitless on me. <laughs> oh, 
Oh boy. Yeah, we're doing some hefty damage on him. <laughs> Three hits. Well, two hits and a visceral, but my goodness. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Stovetop, good to see you. Welcome in. Yeah, that's uh, that feels like a great way to start stream. Welcome in. And uh, looks like a uh, festive tomato. You may have got yourself some channel points there. Uh, let's round that one out. That was definitely a first try. Enjoy the channel points. And uh, Stovetop, good to see you. Thanks for participating. Okay. So we did that one. We did the whole Radon thing. Um, there's other bits of Kaled that maybe we haven't been to yet. But we did just get to this castle last week. So I would like to check that out. So let's go ahead and do that. Cheers, everybody. Nice warm welcome to the uh, the old castle here. It looks like it's polluted uh, as well. By what I'm only assuming is just piles of excrement. This is pretty gross already. Was that one of those big hands? Oh no, they're slugs. <laughs> Can't tell if that's better or worse. Oh, might be worse. Focusing on that. Please stop. Okay. <laughs> we had to get our first death. We had to get our first death. Of the night. Not of the game, but of the night. So we've definitely surpassed every game. Uh, first try attempts other than Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 still leads with a total of 600. But I have a feeling this is going to creep up on that. Blaze it. <laughs> oh, are you talking about the uh, number of deaths there? Um, Stove top. <laughs> it's legal where you're at. 
and you're not harming anybody. I, I do not judge. Oh yeah, dude. Hopefully you get poisoned down there. That would be nice. Oh no, he jumps. Oh, he also heals. Would you look at that? Oh, now he's buffing himself. Stop focusing on the slugs. Oh, I hate that. At least we get to as a character in this one. We get some jumping too, so that's nice. He might have ran out of magic drink, though. Here we go. One of those guys at a time, not too bad. Two of them at a time, nope city. Yeah, only heroes get a heal. Didn't they know that? There we are. There we are. Now we're cooking with gasoline. Or the perfume that they were throwing at us. I don't know. We're cooking, though. I'm not gonna let them cook though. No. Not these guys. Ooh, smithing stone five. Ooh, ouch, ouch. Should have known that would have been too easy. Here we are. Um, yep. Yep, for this weapon I needed the, the somber smithing stones. And we are up to, I wanna say plus six. Yeah. So we need somber smithing stone seven at this point. Of slugs out there. And we're going dex build on this one too. Um, and there's what our our levels look like. We got 30 vigor, 20 endurance, 40 dex, and we've been putting a little bit more into strength just so we can use some of our strength weapons too. But primarily a dex build. Oh, we can climb up there to get inside the main stronghold. But maybe, just maybe, some more exploration is needed. Oh, 
Oh, I said that too soon. I didn't see that those were basil basilisks there. I was just thinking they were just slugs. Oh boy. These boys, just gotta get rid of them as soon as possible. No other way around it. Oh, he was a chameleon. Just hiding out in the, uh, the dung puddle there. There's no way this isn't just raw sewage. Fine with poison, just not the curse. <laughs> okay, I'm not seeing much reason to go over there, but, uh, you know, it's worth a try at least. There's an item back here. Potentially worth it. Probably a trap. Most definitely is a trap. Ooh, drawstring fire grease. That's nice. I'll take that. That was a fun little detour. I mean, I might as well just explore the rest of this dung heap while I'm at it. East blood? What is this, bloodborne? I guess in Bloodborne it comes in pellet form. Okay. This feels very, very trappy. Got the drop on me. Okay, there's something dangerous over there. Oh, it's a big plant. Oh, we want out of that. Uh, Victory Bell used uh, Solar Beam. <laughs> Ooh, it's got the Scarlet Rot, too. That is no good. What? I 
I would say that's probably not even worth it. Yeah, maybe. Nope. We're gonna die. I'm not going to stick around for that. <laughs> and the poison buildup just keeps going and going. It's just crazy. Ooh, that was a somber smithing stone five. That's nice. Ooh, get out of there. Oh no. <laughs> we go back and get revenge on that thing or not, is the question. I'm gonna say not. Probably gonna say not. Because that looks pretty iffy. Okay. Maybe we want the runes, though. Runes might be nice. I mean, I might be willing to fight it if we're on solid land. Not down there. Not on its terms. Oh, it can teleport? Oh gosh. That is beastly. I guess we did get revenge. <laughs> Ghost Glove Wart. You know those times when you uh, say, you know, I'm not going to seek revenge. And then revenge seeks you. That's all right. Got our revenge. Up, up, up we go. And the bleed damage from the sword is just so nice. Excellent reach. It's overall one of my favorite weapons. Oh, 
Oh, what? That didn't do it? Okay, no illusionary wall there. You get a peek at an item over here, though. Hoping there's something resembling a side of grace over here. Ooh, guys, gross. Hey, Stardust, welcome in. How was, uh, how was DS1? Uh, I'm not going to give you any spoilers because I know you're on a first playthrough. Uh, but feel free to tell us how far you got tonight. And, uh, yeah. Also, I did kind of poke in um, to Zen's stream uh, in, in Lurk mode before I started. And he got Orphan at BL4 uh, earlier today. That is so exciting. That is so exciting. So that means one more boss of the DLC and then he can finish the game. Oh, he was able to keep it in phase one? That is fantastic. Oh boy, rude. My dude. Nice. Didn't even give any items for being such a formidable foe. That's unfortunate. Ooh, Valkyrie's prosthesis. So that's what he was guarding. I only had a arms. <laughs> So is this a weapon? So I'm not seeing it. Watch Zen play DS1 so you won't spoil. Uh, no worries. I'm to the point of fighting the Taurus demon. Excellent. So you're making your way through... Um, the undead berg uh, quite nicely then. Very cool. Uh, let's take a look. What is this Valkyrie prosthesis? Batman! Delilah, welcome in. Welcome in. How are you doing? How was your Monday? Uh, let's see. I am not seeing this prosthesis anywhere. If anybody knows where it's at in the inventory, feel free to let me know. <laughs> so I'm, I'm coming up blank. Had D&D &D as usual and start doing an essay on manga I like. Excellent. Very cool. Welcome in. Hopefully you had a great weekend, too. You're level 11 now. Very cool, Stardust. You're making your a good uh, good way through the game already. Uh, I'm happy for you. I uh, hope you're enjoying it. Um, and definitely give it time. You know, um, it can feel really easy to get discouraged early game in any of the uh, Souls games. So I hope you uh, give it uh, a good fair shot. Because it is a lot of fun and very, very rewarding uh, as you progress throughout the game. Oh boy, that was close. Ooh, Side of Grace, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Uh, we did get one boss. It was just a uh, stone digger troll at the uh, Limgrave Tunnels. 
Uh, so an early game boss that I, I had missed <laughs> in my early exploration. And we did it first try. Not to, you know, brag or anything, but when you get a first try on a boss in any of these games, you gotta you gotta brag a little bit. The blips of progress outweigh the deaths. Absolutely. In that dopamine rush, when you get a boss down, unparalleled. Uh, I'm gonna skip that one and just go straight to his uh, partner over here. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. I should have figured there'd be more of those, but... Uh... boy. Yep. <laughs> At least we're close to our side of grace, because that's a lot of runes to uh, leave on the floor. It might have been actually some leveling runes at that point. Uh, what's our status? Yeah, we should probably level up with those things if we get them back. That's what they're called, revenants? Well, I don't like them. They show up, uh, they spit poison, and uh, they're just a bit toxic. Okay, is it going to come after me or not? <laughs> Should I wave at it? Hey. <laughs> yeah, let's go level up then. If he's giving us the opportunity, we're going to seize it. That is for certain. up and I kind of want to do strength but uh, let's do what's endurance look like or not endurance dex we'll go with more dex we need to do some more damage I like their design but that's the only positive yeah the noises The uh, ability to warp, just spewing straight toxins, just uh, wouldn't recommend. Not to mention combos like that. <laughs> yep. It was like perfect timing. It heard you, Delilah. And it's like, yep. It heard you. It listened. It understood the assignment. <laughs> Are you, though? Are you, though? It wasn't your fault, anyway. We will all blame Miyazaki. over here or not. Jeez. No. Stop. <laughs> I beg you.
here we go. <laughs> Well, his vision is very cruel. I'll just say that. And these things, too. Are very weird. Okay. I realized I forgot to throw on my heart rate monitor tonight, so I will definitely do that when we get to a safe spot. Kinda wanna see what's up that ladder there. Oh, hey, boys. Oh, no. saw them sliding down and they make it up here. I sure hope not. Well, let's not chance it. Well, this is Poison Swamp area, so you know Miyazaki smiling about that. Climbed uh, back up. All right. Can you aggro and come over here, Mr. Horsey? Poison. That's okay. Smithing Stone Four, not too impressed with that. Oh, you can actually use it on the ladder? I did not expect that. I didn't think you could heal on the ladder. Oh. There's a long way to go for that. Bear with me one second while I get the uh, heart rate monitor all connected here. Not me weeping in chat, can't move all healing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that bit is tough. Um, and that's why it's so tough to go back to those games after a game like Elden Ring. So that's why I've definitely 
been very thankful that people steered me towards those games first before these, and also uh, what I've been recommending for other people too. And especially uh, Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 is uh, pretty slow when it comes to that animation, so it's, uh, it's, it's pretty tough. I think it's Dark Souls 3 where you can start to move a little bit while you heal. Dark Souls 1 after Elden Ring and DS3, and it was definitely a weird experience, yeah. <laughs> it feels uh, a bit clunky and dated, doesn't it? Just a little bit. Just a wee bit. Uh, let me just double check one more thing here, too. That I forgot to check before stream. Should be all set. Sorry about that. I'm gonna take a peek back here. House Marias is ruined. Just Deserts for falling for that severed harpy. No surprise that guilty Cretan took the castle and our storied sword. Oh, okay. Who is this Cretan you speak of? Okay. So it's 4,000 runes back that way. Maybe there's a spot where it links up if we climb here. Let's give this a go. So I have to share this because it's just way too cute. Finally got all three in a row. <laughs> oh, we got magic. I'm getting attacked. <laughs> There's a Cretan. Feels like a trap, too. Ooh, perfumer's cookbook. Very nice. that does for crafting here. Can we craft any more fun things? Still can't make fire grease, which is too bad. Hey! 
buy a beer. But you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here. Lacquer, welcome on in. Raiders, my name is Uncle Wooly. This is my first playthrough of Elden Ring. Welcome on in. How was uh, Pokemon? Were you doing uh, Fire Red or Leaf Green tonight, uh, Lacquer? It's good to see you, by the way. Hopefully you're doing well. I will be right with you here shortly, as soon as it's safe. <laughs> but it is very dangerous at the moment. Got that bank shot going. Oh no. Nope. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> Doing first uh, Nuzlocke. Um, remind me what that is, because I've heard the term before, but uh, my Monday brain is just uh, <laughs> totally. Oof. After not playing Pokemon game in years. Uh-oh. <laughs> people. We do have people, K-squared. Welcome in. And Raiders, if you haven't met my puppy dogs before, uh, all three of them are actually in the room, which is awesome. <laughs> uh, Lucy's the Shih Tzu on the left. She's five. Charlie's the Pomeranian mix in the middle. He's seven. Roxy's the Jack Russell on the right. She's 14. And all three of them infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So people truly hang out for them. Uh, my mediocre gameplay and terrible puns are just side content compared to the puppy dogs. Uh, basically, if all your Pokemon in your party faint, you have to start the game over. Oof. That is tough. That is really tough. Hopefully you're doing well in that. <laughs> Hopefully you haven't had to uh, do the old uh, uh, start over yet. But welcome on in. If you need a raid and run, no worries at all. I totally understand. Uh, take care of those post-stream self-care needs if you got them, including hydration, food, a break from the screens, you name it. I'm not kicking you or your raiders out by any means. I uh, just want to make sure you take care of yourselves. Uh, but you're more than welcome to stay as long as you want. Always welcome here, Lacquer. It is very good to see you. No resets yet. That is good. That is good news. That is really good news. I love those games. Um, I grew up with the uh, Fire Red and uh, and Blue. Or it, I guess it's not called Fire Red. I guess it's just Red and Blue. But just absolutely adore those games. Let's see if we can handle this. Do out the dip. Have a great stream. Good luck with the Elden Ring. Hey, Lacquer, thank you very much for the raid. Can we get some hearts in chat for Lacquer? Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your night or your day. I forget what time zone you're in. But definitely take care and uh, glad to hear the run is going well for you so far. <laughs> uh, thank you again very much for the raid. Um, can we... oh, boy, he's aggressive. Hey, that's my beer, but you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here. Dark Bahamut, welcome in. Raiders, my name is Uncle Wooly. This is my first playthrough of Elden Ring, and I will be with you as soon as it's safe to do so. <laughs> welcome on in, everybody. Oh, my goodness. There we go. <laughs> Uh-oh. It was like back-to-back -back raids. Ooh, you're playing Star Ocean. How, how has that been treating you? Welcome on in. Let me get you a proper shout out there. And Raiders, if you haven't met my puppy dogs before, we actually have all three of them in the room tonight. Uh, Lucy's the Shih Tzu on the left. She's five. Charlie's the Pomeranian mix in the middle. He's seven. And Roxy is the Jack Russell on the right. And she's uh, 14. All of them infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So people hang out for them. 
<laughs> my mediocre gameplay and terrible puns are just side content compared to those cuties. <laughs> but uh, Bahamut, you just got done streaming, so if you do need a raid and run, please take care of those post-stream self-care needs, including hydration, food, break from the screens, any or all the above. Not kicking you out by any means, but just want to make sure uh, you're taking care of yourself. You're more than welcome to stay as long as you wish, and that extends out to your raiders as well. <laughs> oh, Charlie. <laughs> my goodness. Uh, Star Ocean went great. Uh, one of my favorite games, so definitely enjoying it. Uh, Elden Ring has been going okay. We got one boss so far. And we're exploring a new uh, yet very deadly area. So it's been a bit of a mix so far. <laughs> but it's always fun. If you enjoy this type of game, it's, it's always fun. I just don't know what's lurking in here. Yep. <laughs> and where's... Oh. There's someone up there, okay. And they've got a fiery crossbow. Uh, have you played any of the Souls games, uh, Bahamut? Because uh, we were just kind of discussing this, that uh, if you uh, haven't played any of the Souls games and you do plan on playing the other ones, um, I would m maybe consider... Um, something like Dark Souls 1 or Demon Souls, even the remake, uh, before doing this. Because otherwise, the other way around is going to feel very uh, disjointed and probably pretty clunky for you. Okay, so you have played the series. Gotcha. Okay. Then, if, if that's the case, then, yeah, you could step right into this. Uh, more of these guys? Really? No, nope. You're stuck. Oh, hey. He definitely let the dogs out. <laughs> I hope the dogs can get down here before he does. Would be nice. Oh, sweet. Wow. <laughs> I did not expect to survive through that at all. That is amazing. <laughs> wow. Oh. Don't go gloating yet. There's more enemies afoot. I was super stuck there, and I was expecting to just, uh, you know mark that as my grave, and I, it would have been, you know, okay. But it is not the case. I hope if there is a boss that maybe there's another side of grace before then. Because this just feels like a rough boss run. Okay, there's a fog wall up there, so let's go ahead and get the prediction rolling here. Matadon, welcome in. Welcome in. How are you doing? How was your Monday? I am very tense, whether I'm displaying that on my face <laughs> or not, but I am very tense at the moment. Yeah, some of the strong mobs are just difficult. So we do have a uh, channel point prediction open for this boss here. If you want to get some channel points in, if you think I'll get it on first try, if you have that level of faith, uh, vote accordingly. Otherwise, we have uh, 2 through 5, 6 to 10 attempts, or 11 plus. You always look calm and collected. I don't always feel that way, contrary uh, <laughs> to how I might look. Um, not always the case. What is it? Outside, I'm um, hooting, but inside, I'm hollering. <laughs> 
kind of the case for me. Especially with these games. So we have about another minute left on the uh, channel point prediction, if you want to get some channel points in on that. And Matadon, if you have a preferred uh, nickname or preferred pronouns, feel free to share those in chat. I do want to make sure you feel welcome here. Uh, don't see the flailing below the water surface. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's exactly it. That is a, probably a more eloquently, uh, more eloquent way of uh, stating that there. Stoke top. Oh, nobody wants to gamble on this one, I see. Okay. Okay. We'll do our best. Oh, you don't have enough to vote. That's fine. That's absolutely A-OK. -okay. We'll give it a go. Elmer of the Briar. Let's open up this arena here. Oh my lord, the Reach. Okay. I see you. I see you. Elmer of the Briar. Oh, there's a stake here. Sephiroth. All right. Elmer of the Briar. Well, at least we don't have to go that far. That's nice that they uh, gave us a statue. Instead of having to do that boss run, because that would have been awful. Stop it. <laughs> okay. I think I'm getting this now. I think I'm getting it. All right, so we're on attempt number three now. Attempt number three. I am not two-handing my weapon either. That's also a shame. Gravy, man. Come on now. I'm just getting panic rolling. Jeez, dude. He hits so hard. Us here. Nope. 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 <laughs> Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, we're empty now. got some reach on that okay we're done with our like exploratory attempts right so now this is like the next couple is where it's gonna actually be a, a victory it's a cool boss though i'm happy about the boss run Don't 
sneak. Okay, that's not it either. <laughs> All right. Lovely Cornish pastry for dinner. Oh man, uh, you missed a few attempts on this boss. That sounds lovely. Would you care to share? Can you send us some Bahamut? That sounds like a lovely dinner. I should probably just stop caring about my runes. Oh, nope. Well, now there's no reason to care for them because they're gone. <laughs> this one feels like I can do, though, because I'm doing enough damage to this boss. Feels like we're doing enough damage, but uh, I just need to dodge a little bit better. And I, by a little bit, I mean a lot of it. if we could get some bleed damage here. It'd be real nice. That's my beer, but you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here. Wobble Pop, thank you for the raid. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. I will give you a proper shout out and all that as soon as it's safe to do so. <laughs> uh, okay, now it's safe. <laughs> welcome on in, everybody. My name's Uncle Wooly. This is my first playthrough of Elden Ring, and I'm getting my uh, behind stomped by the good old yo, Elmer yo, 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 of the Briar. Yo, 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 yo. yo. <laughs> uh, who do we have with the raid? We have uh, you, Stinky Hadoukens. Welcome in. Uh, probably one of the most unique usernames I think I've ever seen. <laughs> Just Johnny. Good to see you. Dog with glasses on. Always good to see you, too. Welcome on in, everybody. Let me give you a proper shout-out, dude. And thank you for that resub. How many months was that, Wobble Pop? How many months? I can't count. That's why I have a bot keeping track of the attempts, because I cannot count. 12 months. That's an entire year, dude. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very, very much. And thank you for the new follow there, too, by the way. Uh, Raiders, if you haven't met my puppy dogs before... Uh, they are Lucy on the left is a five-year-old Shih Tzu. Uh, Charlie in the middle is a seven-year-old Pomeranian mix. And Roxy, the Jack Russell on the right, is a 14-year-old. And all of them infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So people hang out for them. They tolerate a lot of mediocre gameplay and terrible puns in between sightings of these cuties. Uh, Charlie is our newest addition, Wobble Pop. Uh, we got him 
uh, towards the end of September is when we got Charlie. Yeah, he's a little floof in the middle there, just sleeping on his little cloud. <laughs> yep. That's it, that little boy right there. Uh, you just got done streaming, though, so if you do need a raid and run to take care of post-stream self-care needs, um, definitely do that. Get some hydration, get some food, anything you need to do uh, to take care of yourself after stream. I'm not kicking you out by any means, uh, but please take care of yourself, and that extends to all of your raiders, too. Um, and if anybody has uh, preferred nicknames, if I mispronounced your names, please let me know. I do want to make sure you feel welcome here. Good to see you all. Thank, thanks again for the raid. Can we get some hearts for Wobble Pop, please? Need to keep up on my Uncle Wooly lore? That's okay. I'm behind on my Wobble Pop lore, too, so... <laughs> Hopefully you're doing well, man. Hopefully you had a great weekend. Oh, right. I wish I could fall asleep that easy, too. But also, I kind of don't, because I would probably fall asleep in meetings quite regularly. And you were playing uh, Anamusha Warlords. How was that treating you, Wobble Pop? Did the best Scott Stapp impression for us? Um, trying to discern if that's a good or a bad thing. <laughs> Is that a good or a bad thing? I can't tell. <laughs> it was beautiful. Okay, so it's a good thing. We beat Harvey Birdman, uh, attorney at law, and then we started uh, Anamusha. Okay. Sweet. I've heard good things about Anamusha uh, as well. Ooh, buddy. He's bringing out the big moves right away. Yeah, that sword toss gets me every time. Nope, that hurts. One HP in a dream here. Just burning through our flasks. Dude, can you stop? Can you stop? <laughs> I wish I could throw a Hadouken at him. <laughs> Onomusha is Feudal Japan Resident Evil. That sounds like it could be right up my alley then. Uh, wobble pop huge fan of resident evil oh you gotta you gotta go please take care dude big cheers to you have a wonderful wonderful night please take care wobble pop tonight we are sipping on the fourth entry of the brew dog advent calendar and it's their imperial hazy jane ipa but a hearts and chat for wobble thanks again for the raid dude please take care of yourself have a good sleep have a good rest this beer is a hefty 9%, so we're sipping on this one. <laughs> All right, we got this guy. If we stop doing stupid stuff like that. in this hall that he's got going on here. Yep. Like, can I not just appreciate the taste? 
Uh, back in college, people would get angry if I sipped my beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you just not do it for the flavor alone? Like on stream nights, I only have one beer. They're, like, I have no desire to be, in, like, incredibly intoxicated on stream. So, like, one beer that I get a sip, and I usually make it a special beer, so it's like I get a share, just like a special beer with my friends, you know. Uh, that's the type of thing I'm going for. Um, so this, um, I'm playing it on PS5, but it's, uh, you can play it on PC as well. Uh, or Xbox One. Or not Xbox One, but Xbox Series, whatever series they're on now. <laughs> Of that. Oh, come on, dude. We did pretty good on that attempt, though. We did pretty good on that one. In my 30s, a quarter of beer. Yep. <laughs> Struffy. Welcome in, dude. Mm, what you say? Struffy, it's all for the best. It's all for the best, dude. Good to see you. Happy Monday. Hopefully you had a great weekend. Yeah, it feels like it doesn't take a whole lot anymore. Um... And do you prefer Hadoukens? Can I call you Hadoukens? Uh, or if you have a preferred nickname, please feel free uh, to share that. I do want to make sure you feel welcome here. But I do feel that way too. It doesn't take a whole lot these days. Yeah, this one might be an 11 attempt plus uh, boss one. Nope, 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 nope. And I got an itchy ankle, too. Bahamut, thank you very, very much for the raid earlier. Please take care. Can we get some hearts in chat for Bahamut, please? Nice. Huge jerk. Not Bahamut. The boss. <laughs> Bahamut's awesome. <laughs> hit by that. Yeah. Okay. So we're getting at least halfway down here. <laughs> 
Stinky or Hadoukens works for you. <laughs> Maybe, do you have a voodoo doll in me there, Hadoukens? Because, man, my ankle was itching so bad during that attempt. <laughs> and my username comes from uh, my nephew, couldn't pronounce my name when he was younger. And so it came out Uncle Wooly. And so that's uh, that's been my moniker ever since which we are nearing on 10 years of that name being around. <laughs> yeah, so it it's, is actually an uncle story with Uncle Wooly. <laughs> 10 foot boss characters are much scarier than 20 to 40 foot. Yeah, the there's something more menacing about them being real or feeling real, isn't there? But please take care, Bahamut. Good to see you. Thanks again for the raid. Thanks for bringing your friends over to see us. Uh, I have not been streaming that long. Um, I've been brewing beer that long, and that's when the, the name was created, so. Oh, he got me. He baited me into that one. Nope, he got me. <laughs> big time. He got me big time. My man. Um, I didn't get any brewed this year. I did brew a batch last year. Um, and I did brew that one on stream. Uh, that was a fun stream. Uh, hey, thanks for the new follow. Um, and during the pandemic, I took kind of a break from brewing too. So I do want to get back into it. And I do am setting a goal for myself at the very least two batches of beer next year, if not more. Uh, but at the very least two. Nope, he got me. How dare he lead with that too? This guy's tough. I feel it's doable, though. There hasn't been one run on this boss yet that I felt that it wasn't doable. And I don't want to do the boss run again up to the uh, statue point, so my stubbornness will persist. Instructy, it is good to see you, dude. Hopefully uh, your evening is going well. Hopefully you had a wonderful weekend. Hey, goal. Welcome in, dude. most unfortunate. His moveset just feels very spammy. <laughs> yeah, 
it's not fun. Tonight we're sipping on the Imperial Hazy Jane by Brewdog Brewing. It is the fourth entry in their uh, advent calendar this year. Cheers, dude. And I wish I could have more of the Santa Paws that they had uh, as yesterday's entry. The Santa Paws was a cranberry and grapefruit IPA, and it was so good. It was so dang good. Like, the cranberry had just enough sweetness and tart, and it didn't completely overpower the grapefruit. It was just so good. Oh, man. I forgot my Game Shark uh, back in the early 2000s. That would have been perfect here. How did you know, Hadoukens? <laughs> How did you know what I needed? Oh, I hate that move so much. Oh yeah, I do have a um, a bit of a, a ducking feature on that. So hopefully it's uh, subtle enough that it, it works, but also uh, not too subtle or not too in your face that it's you know annoying or anything like that. <laughs> Oh, the Game Genie was amazing. Dude. Can you stop with these extra moves that you just seem to gain every round? risky. to quiet the raid alert. I'll have to look into that. I think I know why that's happening, um, Stardust. Oh, what? You didn't even throw the sword over that direction, my dude. That spin move. extra flow going. Okay. Oh, Lucy had enough of the big dog bed. It was too comfy. Wonder if anybody's going to go claim it. Yeah, he... He is, uh... Just a big jerk tonight.
let our stamina regen here just a bit. Oh, that was... I got too dodgy on that one. <laughs> oh, that's puppy cam, not my uh, death counter. <laughs> in the same spot just a different screen of the stream deck so i was like got overexcited okay yeah it's a great game i don't know if you've uh if you've had a chance to play elden ring at all hadoukens but it is it's a lot of fun it's just painful it's like you just need a lot of pain with your fun is what this game is all about. Greedy. He likes to punish a lot. Was a good attempt. <laughs> Best beer I've ever tasted. That's a tough one. Uh, there are parry mechanics in this game. I'm just not much of a parry player, so that's another thing. <laughs> uh, I'm not a good uh, parry player. Uh, love this game, seeing how many different builds stack up against different enemies. Never gets old. Yeah, and everybody plays it in their own unique way, too. Uh, Matadon. And that's the fun part to watch, too. Um, one of the best beers I've ever had, uh, Hadouken's, was... Um, trying to think on that one. I'd say bottled beer, one of the best ones I've had, was when we aged, uh, cellar aged a bottle of uh, Deschutes Abyss, which is a uh, porter. Uh, barrel aged porter. Uh, we aged that thing for six years, I think, uh, before trying it, and it was amazing. And we still have a few in my beer fridge and cellar that uh, are aging and are a little bit older than six years. So I'm ex excited to try some of those uh, 
uh, this weekend uh, with the friends get together. But um, trying to think of like ones I've had at a brewery that are on that level. Um, I'll have to think on that one. But typically I like stouts and porters, but I'm an all around beer guy. So I enjoy many, many different flavors of beer. So it's kind of based on, you get basically iframes while you're dodging. And uh, as long as you can uh, dodge at the right time, uh, you have certain frames of invincibility. So if you if you dodge basically, you know, not too early and not too late, you find a, a good window. Yeah, you do have to time it. See, like that was poor timing. <laughs> wow, two in a row. I might be biased, and it might show how much of a Final Fantasy VII fanboy I am, but uh, <laughs> uh, I would say it's a tie between Cloud's Buster Sword, or, you know, I, I don't want to spoil the story for anybody, so I'll leave that one at that. Or the uh, Masamune from uh, Sephiroth. <laughs> I am so excited for Rebirth. Very, very excited. Oh, come on, right at the edge of it, too. <laughs> uh, so it's not the Cloud Buster, but it is Cloud as the character, his Buster Sword. Yeah. Which there is a lineage with that sword, but uh, I don't want to drop too much for those that haven't played Final Fantasy 7. Oh, Master Sword, very iconic as well. 
very iconic. Uh, of course, good old Excalibur is featured in so many things. Dude, can you stop with this nonsense? Oh, the timing of that is something I'm not good at. <laughs> Uh, the big Goron sword from Ocarina of Time. Absolutely a great choice, too. I'm uh, still under the impression that that's my favorite 3D Zelda game. But uh, we are playing Wind Waker on Wednesdays. And that's slowly uh, nearing towards the top of my favorites. Wind Waker is a lot of fun. Oh, dude just went hitless on me. He wanted it more than I did. Well, if that's a uh, rumor, then that's uh, cool. But uh, please, uh, no spoilers if you know things I don't. <laughs> Ocarina of Time, it's... It's up there for me. It's uh, for me. It's my favorite three D Zelda. It's uh, my favorite two D Zelda has got to be Link to the Past. Oh no! I tried to heal, and I paid for it dearly. Yep, love Link to the Past. Yeah, that's my dining hall. I might have to come back to this. Oh yeah, that's what happens. When he grabs you, that's exactly what happens. Unless you're full health, uh, it's usually death. Lord. See, I need to get that timing down. This is awful. That medieval Tolkien feel. Yeah, it was darker. A great game. Uh, Unreal Engine beta of Link to the Past? That sounds insane. <laughs> that sounds insane to me. Uh, I played it back on Super Nintendo and or Super Famicom for, uh, for those that... Uh, aren't in the Western Territories. And I really enjoyed it.
Not a fan of Willow, uh, Hadoukens? That was a bad attempt. Zelda game with the amount of darkness. I think uh, 2008 Zelda is like super bright and retina burning. Oh, is that the um, 2008 would be Skyward Sword, right? Hmm. Gotcha. You wouldn't hate. I uh, mixed up my reading there. Sorry about that. There's one thing I didn't like about the uh, re uh, reboot of Willow, or basically like the sequel TV series, was that uh, there were bits where they had modern music in there, like during the credits or like at the end of an episode right before the credit sequence hit and it just felt jarring to me because the original show just never had like the movie never had modern music it just had kind of all like score for the the movie and it fits so well that uh in the show when they had the modern music uh come in it just felt very jarring oh. that was a big oops there Soon. I always get baited by that attack. Oh, yeah. I think anything of that sort had uh, influence on early action adventure games. Yeah, Warwick Davis is amazing. I was very happy that uh, he reprised his role. Yeah, I've watched all of it, but it's been a couple months. <laughs> so I'm, I'm having trouble remembering. Yeah, he uh, is not nice. Yeah. I think I'm doing worse. <laughs> Oh, you haven't seen Legend? Uh, check that out. Definitely check it out. It's worth a it's worth a watch. It's good. <laughs> it's campy in like all the right ways. And uh, I think I missed a message here. Unreleased Zelda game that was very dark and took place in Tim Burton-esque world. Uh, the Tale of a Male Sheik. Oh, that would be interesting. I would definitely play something like that. I might have to come back to this guy. I know they've been talking about a Zelda movie recently. 
And uh, I'm not too enamored with the live action Zelda, if I'm being completely honest. Like, I would take a like animated one for sure, but live action just raises the hairs a little bit. From a contracted concept artist for the game. Interesting. uses that attack so seldomly it's tough to get the timing down. Stop. <laughs> yeah, this is a boss where I feel like you have to be super aggressive on. Live actor can live up to the hype of a beloved game lead character. Yeah. <laughs> um, I actually liked Mario. I was really, um, really uh, skeptical at first, especially with uh, the early trailers and Chris Pratt being the uh, voice actor. I just was very skeptical. Like, I like Chris Pratt well enough as Star Lord, but I just didn't feel like he fit. Mario, but uh, the, the end product was uh, pretty good. Oh, Roxy, what are you doing, pup? Might need a break soon. Just to. Uh... Just a little bit of a... Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Roxy's prancing around like she needs a bio break, and so we're gonna go ahead and do that. We'll do a little BRB here, so feel free to grab yourself some refill, grab some snacks, any or all of the above, and we'll be back with you in about five minutes or so. Cheers, cheers, everybody.
I needed was a Kiwi raid. That's all I needed. <laughs> if, if that isn't the reason, you know, and let me watch this one. Wow. So this makes me really Oh no! Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully you had a good break. Hopefully you got some snacks, refill, any or all of the above. Reminder to hydrate as well. Being so cold in the northern hemisphere, it's uh, easy to get uh, dehydrated. All right, let's see if we can take care of uh, Elamer here. Hey, Stardust, thank you. Yeah, I am uh, basically the Grinch until Black Friday. And then the day after Thanksgiving in the States, I become uh, Mr. Christmas. <laughs> and then the holiday spirit hits me. Well, 
Okay, that hurt. That was a good attempt back, right? I might have to leave this guy and come back. We'll give it a few more attempts. Let me take a peek at my... We can stay medium load and maybe increase our damage resistance. <laughs> Wimpy. Thank you, dude. Of course, King Shark is a shark. He is the ruling patriarch of all that is sharkdom. our damage resistance just a bit here. That puts us in heavy territory. Alright, let's see what that does. Got the nice helmet, but uh, just not the skills to match. I did give a disclaimer uh, earlier in the evening that we got eight bosses last stream, and so just a disclaimer that we're not going to get that much tonight. Got me. Oh, come on. I got that second ball. Feels like I can get him down to half, and then that extra half is just <laughs> a bit much. Lucky there. Why 
why is it that I always want to dodge right when he first hits that uh, shield thing? Second, it's that second one that he gets me. Panda, good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome in. <laughs> yep, we're we're doing pretty rough on this one. Figured I would have won or second tried this guy. Not a chance, Wimpy. <laughs> uh, Strefty, I feel like you're gonna offer the advice of get and good <laughs> feel free to offer it nonetheless but i i feel like that's what you're gonna okay yeah that was such a stinky attempt. I want to go see if I can level up, and then I will come back. Well, I'm struggling with both, so I don't know where that means anything would be. <laughs> uh, we can do a puffy treat. We can definitely do that. Maybe that'll uh, get Roxy back up here, Panda. Um, well, I don't know if he's doing that to me. It seems pretty sus, Hegel, but, uh, <laughs> in Panda, tonight's puppy treats are from Order of the North Pole. Um, they're lumps of coal for the puppies. So let me see if I can get Roxy up to the stream room here. Hold on. Sleeping. No treat for poor Roxy. But we do have uh, puppy camception, Jared. <laughs> Welcome in, dude. Your best bet is stand right, yeah, in his grill. I, I've been trying, Strufty. Just not well enough. Um. Uh, very tanky and carried a spear that broke his stance on each hit. Oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> that would do it. Yet to be found by Wooly Boss made me feel like I sucked and wanted to break my TV. Well, definitely don't do that. Definitely do, don't do that. Hi, Charlie. Do you want to say hello to everybody? We're just waiting till the uh, pupception goes away here. <laughs> he is in the dining room, Stardust. That's true. That is true. Oh, there's Charlie. There's Charlie. Panda will save the other treat in case uh, Roxy does make her way up here. 
can you not be so loud in there? Uh, <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, puppies. Good doggos. Panda, thank you for the puppy treat. And if Roxy makes her way back up here, we'll make sure she gets one too. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can level up with my runes. Uh, that's gonna be probably a no. 2,000, so that's 4,000. Yeah, that's gonna be a nope. just see if I can get enough uh, runes from these guys to do some leveling. If I don't just immediately die to this guy. Nope. Dude. Not fair. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. So I'm going to have to do this and then just minus my boss attempt. I still haven't figured out a good way to do this type of thing. When I'm in the middle of fighting a boss and just wanting to either go do some side stuff or just get killed on the way there. Well, Hegel, I'm glad I'm not the only one that suffers with this boss because uh, he's kicking my behind. Good amount of runes from those. Blight Town vibes. <laughs> uh, good old Blight Town. And you have that to look forward to, Stardust. I'll say this. Uh, I always felt like Blight Town got overhyped for being super awful. I think there are so many areas of Dark Souls 1 that are far worse than Blight Town. And Blight Town just got overhyped.
don't get me wrong, it's not fun. I'm aggressively not thinking about Blight Town. <laughs> that is good. Only heroes are supposed to heal, my dude. There we are. Ooh, we got the perfume bottle. Very nice. Uh, since you're familiar with the game and I'm not giving you any spoilers, I thought uh, Tomb of the Giants was harder. Uh, the whole boss run up to Nido was probably one of my least favorites in the game. And also... Um, is a new Londo, the uh, run up to uh, Four Kings. Absolutely hated those areas. Okay, maybe one of you wants to step up. Or you're just going to keep zoning me off the edge here. attempt off. This place is just super gross. If I can fight these guys without the poison, that'll be nice. Oh yeah, the uh, the ghosties. Yeah, stuck like a fox. Yeah, like a fox there, Wimpy. <laughs> So with these guys, I now know that I just need to uh, hit hard and fast. That's how I was supposed to do it. Not how it was done last time. That was not good. Okay. Just run back over here, get some little runes from these guys. item down there I missed before. Uh, oh, hey, dude. 
Don't grab me, please. Is there no beer option? I thought I re-enabled that one. Uh... Anyway, I started blasting. Bah, bah. No, I don't see so good, so I missed. Then they ran away. I ran after them. Okay. Bang! Try to shoot them in the back. But I don't want so good either. <laughs> so anyway, Joe. Joe and Tang. I started blasting. Uh, let's see here. Channel points. Thought I re-enabled beer. But maybe I didn't. There you go, Panda. There you go. Should be available now. Uh, a lot of trouble. I'm stuck on Elmer like glue. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, oh, hi, Rox. Let's get some beer in you, and then it's right to bed. <laughs> Ooh, beer, 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 bed, bed, bed. <laughs> Wimpy, have a good night, dude. Can we get some hearts in chat for Wimpy, please? Have a wonderful, wonderful sleep, my friend. Big cheers to you. Always good to see you. And let me get our uh, door closed here. Oh, looks like DJ Wife's taking care of it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect timing, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll get Roxy a treat here. Wimpy, have a wonderful night, dude. Sleep well, my friend. <laughs> Take care. Some hearts for Wimpy, please. Oh, I'm sorry, puppies. You already got your second one. That's her second one. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I know, it doesn't seem fair. But you guys have equal treats, I promise. <laughs> Roxy was just sleeping when Panda came in earlier. That's all. That's all. Yeah, Elmer is just uh, not a fun... Dude to fight. Neither are these guys, but uh oh. we make do. Hey Prince Leo, welcome in, dude. Welcome on in. Oh yeah, we get a good amount of runes from him. Very nice. I already got the treasure in here, but I just don't know where it's at in my inventory. Uh, doing well. Hopefully you've had a great Monday, Joe and Tay. Also, same to you, Prince Leo. Hopefully your week is off to a wonderful start. We're, uh, we're doing okay here. Not too bad. <laughs> Other than a questionable boss on this game, not too bad. I did give a disclaimer. We had eight bosses last stream, so this uh, only getting one boss so far kind of hurts. <laughs> Today was my first day back after 12 days off. Oh my goodness. So it's been a rough day for you then. <laughs> that adjustment period has got to be pretty rough. Yeah, I have a lot of uh, paid time off I have to use before the end of the year. Otherwise, I'll lose it. So I'm, I'm going to feel that way at the beginning of 2024, Joe. <laughs> Even
even if I lose some runes here, we'll be fine. Hey! Hey! That's my beer. But you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here. Tiny murderous penguin, it is good to see you. Uh, and I will give you a proper shout out when it's safe. <laughs> How was your stream? Welcome in. Looked like you were playing a bit of your favorite, Dead Cells. Yeah, we're dead here. <laughs> Welcome on in, Cyfry. I see you came over from the raid. Welcome on in. Uh, let me give uh, tiny, tiny Murderous Penguin a proper shout out here. Uh, there we are. And we also need to minus our death count on the boss attempts, rather. It's good. I always raid at the worst times. No worries at all. Um, I'm sorry we missed you last week. Uh, during that raid. Because <laughs> uh, we raided out, I think it was Wednesday night, or it was Thursday night, because we streamed on Thursday. And uh, Tiny raided us just after. <laughs> like, literally as I hit raid out. <laughs> so I felt bad that we missed uh, missed Tiny's raid on Thursday. But it is good to see you. Uh, raiders, if you haven't met my puppy dogs, Lucy's a Jack Russell. No. Roxy's a Jack Russell on the left. Uh, at the back there, she's 14. Lucy's a Shih Tzu on the left in the front, and she's five. And uh, at my feet, and being very camera shy, is Charlie. There he is. <laughs> and Charlie is a uh, seven-year-old Pomeranian mix uh, that joined us in September. And all of them infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be, so people hang out for them. They tolerate a lot of mediocre gameplay and terrible puns in between puppy sightings. <laughs> But if you need a raid and run, I totally understand. Take care of your post-stream self-care needs with hydration, food, uh, break from the screens, you name it. And that extends to your raiders as well. Um, I want to make sure you take care of yourselves, but I'm not kicking you out. You can stay as long as you wish. You're more than welcome here. <laughs> Charlie doing the people strut. <laughs> Strutting around like Ric Flair. Like the nature boy he is. <laughs> Uh, daytime woolly streams, um, yes and no, Joe. <laughs> yes and no. Um, there will be one uh, Final Fantasy Friday next week that I'll have a longer one um, during the morning daytime. But otherwise, uh, I might have a Saturday stream in there. Locked on to the wrong one. There we go. <laughs> I got chaotic in a hurry. There we go. Well, I mean... The doggos are infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So th there is no lie detected there. And, uh, <laughs> but the night is slowing down. That's good. That is good. Doing pretty well here today. Not too bad. Um, yeah, so we took a poll with the community uh, through Discord and Twitter and also on YouTube community posts, and uh, it was a unanimous decision uh, from everybody that voted that wanted to see uh, Final Fantasy Friday come back to uh, Twitch. So I'm still uploading VODs to uh, YouTube, so if people miss out, they can still watch over there. Uh, but the live streams themselves, for the time being, uh, will all be on Twitch now. Uh, yeah, glad the night's slowing down and the family's doing well. <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, let's see here. If I use all of these, where does that get us? I'm guessing we're going to get pretty close to level up territory. No worries at all, dude. Um, you, did you enjoy it over on YouTube? Um, or do you kind of prefer Twitch? So what I've kind of found, at least for those streams, is people said they like the... Because it's a very story-heavy game, the reduced amount of redeems and kind of a focus on the gameplay with that game. But then uh, the chat experience is just still uh, better on Twitch. Is kind of what the consensus was. the slow build on that poison that it just uh, continues to build after a certain amount even if you're out of it or not I appreciate that Joe yeah there's things I like about scheduling streams on YouTube that uh, you don't have to uh, like you can reuse settings uh, you don't have to manually type in your stream title each time. It's pretty nice that I don't have to, you know, go to my VOD page and copy and paste and then increment the part number and all that. Um, or at YouTube, you can just schedule it and then select that and go live. There's no question it's you in chat. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> have pretty close to level up territory here, 31,000. I don't even know if it's worth trying to defeat these guys then. You know what? We got some new gloves. Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, I'm happy I haven't started that yet because I have a feeling it would uh, take over my entire life <laughs> if I were to start it at this point. I did get this other dagger too. I could see if I could upgrade this thing. We're not getting a whole lot of extra from that. I wonder if we go bigger. I suppose we could just get some uh, spending runes real quick. 
Um, what I like about YouTube is it has built-in captions, um, so you don't have to run any extra plugins in OBS. Um, the other thing I liked was the, the scheduling and uh, all of that. It seemed a lot simpler. I wish they could bring some of that into uh, Twitch. Like, because if you set up your Twitch schedule right, and you go out to your, your, your about section and you set all that up, why then should you have to type in your stream title again and all that, right? You've already typed that into your schedule. You should be able to just select your schedule from that list and then be able to uh, just go live with that instead of having to type it all in and all that. You can do that with YouTube, which I like. But the chat experience isn't as good. The emote experience isn't as good. Um, it doesn't have any type of channel points, so you have to implement like third-party things through uh, streamer bot or other means. Um, so it's kind of give or take. I can alter my garments? I don't know what that means, but... Uh... I mean, that's fair, too. I mean... That's that's part of the fun of Twitch as well. So, uh, Wimpy's not here to uh, bark at me because uh, he's like, oh, you could just go to the round table hold, you know, to go to the uh, the blacksmith. But I'm like, I like going to EG though. <laughs> Greetings, my fellow. How can I help? Build up faster from that. And it scales with Dex and Arcane. We need some more runes. He's way nicer, way friendlier than the one in the round table hold, yeah. I do want to fight Elmer, but I just kind of want to see if a different strat is going to be worth it. Lean into the old dex build and actually uh, be able to swing quick. See if that's enough to appease old uh, EG's needs. Something else. Where are we at with our current one? We've got a lot going on there. We need 540. 
Maybe let's go back there, kill some things, and then come back here. Because that'll be a little quicker. I'll give you some some free puppies while I do that. I am absolutely loving Final Fantasy 16 in a way that uh, is hard to describe. The side quests, while being very simple, typical fetch quest type things, um, are just so wonderfully crafted to expand on the characters and their lives and make the world just seem so real and lived in and I mean it's world building at its best um, so while it's not a big open world game like a lot of Final Fantasy games can be it's very linear it still gives you plenty of options to explore I love it Like, the quests are so simple, right? And I get where that gets a lot of criticism, but uh, what they provide in contextual richness to the story is just unparalleled. So if they could add just maybe a little more difficulty to some of them, that would be nice, but uh, also it never feels, like, really super needed either. Okay. Here, let's just do that little run one more time. We should have enough. Yeah, sometimes you just want a little simple quest and not this big thing you have to do because the main quest feels so daunting anyway. I understand that. Because the, the main game, that's my big gripe with the main game is that it's just so far between save points that if you're trying to get some gameplay in in like a couple hours, it's really tough. All right, let's go kill this guy and then we should be in a good spot. Should be in a good spot now. Yeah, I just want to see what this dagger will do. Um, I suppose I could equip it. quick. And the weapon art is actually ranged too, which is nice. And I'm so used to Souls games, uh, like Dark Souls 2, where you have to like sit at a, a bonfire to warp, or I suppose, what was the other one um, that did that? Uh, resting at a lamp uh, to warp between areas and Bloodborne. That I'm still so used to doing that. Well, nice war, Counselor. Let's uh, put that up and up again. See, that's pretty nice, and it's scaling with C, or or is that the upgraded version? Oh, it's still scaling at a D with uh, with Dex. Something. You weren't selling any uh, Smithing Stone 7, are you? Nope. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get back there and get some more tries on, on Elmer.
That bleed procs really quickly with this thing. Yeah, we do against this guy. Got some new greaves. Let's uh, check that out. Uh, equipment, clean uh, rot. Uh, we're not up against piercing. They're lighter, but not as protective. Ooh, let's see if I can just run through here. Oh no. <laughs> oh, good gravy. And let's bring that boss attempt down by one. I forgot to send it back down. That is a rookie mistake. Given me the Wilhelm scream biddies. Thank you very much for those, by the way. <laughs> Come on. Don't come up with me. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Let's send this thing back down before we get too far. There we go. There we go. I think it still worked, Joe. I think it still worked. All right. Let's give this another shot. Keep doing that. Might be prepared to give this guy more attempts than Fume Knight. 
It's the one thing I was afraid of, is I don't want to give him more attempts than Fume Knight. Or Nameless King. Is a cleaner attempt though. I don't even know what Rivers of Blood is. <laughs> um, it makes me want to punch things too, Hegel. <laughs> but mostly his face and nothing else. Oh, not what I wanted. I just wanted to look at it. Uh, slash with the Wicked Dagger, transforming its never-drying bloodstains into airborne blades that cause blood loss. I should try more of that. Um, Reduvia Blood Blade is what I'm using. Give me that bleed, please.
roll backwards was a big mistake there. Baited by that too. All right, we're on Vestus or Blast, rather. He always gets me with that. Okay. Oh, oh that was probably my best attempt yet. <laughs> that was the best attempt yet on that guy. That might be our uh, our go-to here. was a bad attempt. <laughs> yeah, we're closing in on Nameless King territory with this guy. Which is hard to believe. It doesn't feel like it's been that many attempts.
see what a jerk. <laughs> uh, 43 was my was my nameless attempts. I had 43 attempts on nameless, uh, 45 on fume night. Both are just big jerks. Yeah, that one felt good though. didn't feel anywhere near good. Hey, Goal, I'm glad I'm not the only one that uh, hurt against this guy. <laughs> I want to say for me, Joe, I think Madeir was about 17 or 18 attempts. There we go. About time that bleed got some croc. Oh no. Did not expect him to have got me there. I just panic rolled it. <laughs> yeah, this guy is, uh, I feel like I'm under leveled for him uh, just a bit, but maybe I'm not. And maybe it's just wooly being wooly. I feel like I've got some good attempts with that, but we could try the old, uh, the old sword again here. There it is. What's my bleed? 55, and the bleed on that one is 52. But I can attack quicker with that one. I've got better deck scaling and strength scaling with this. We've surpassed, uh, what's his name? Nameless King. Uh, 
Yeah, we were doing a lot better with the other weapon. Elamur, you might very well dethrone Pew Knight. Good panic roll. <laughs> All right, let's see if he ties Fume Knight here. I feel like it's doable at this uh, at this level. That move always catches me off on timing. Always. it up on me. dethroned the fume knight <laughs> Golly. just curious what the recommended level is for this guy if i'm under leveled and i've been under leveled all game what is the recommended level against this guy BL4? Uh, I don't believe you, Hagel. Seventy three, seventy four, somewhere in there. Yeah, seventy four. Well, my stubbornness has made this guy dethrone a few nights.
bad timing. And it is 70, okay. <laughs> I do like to do stuff the hard way, though. Unintentional hard mode is the, the way we do things around here. I have the hunger now. For those that have played these games before, you know what it feels like when you get that hunger for a boss and you just have to do it, no matter how many attempts it takes. Because now it'll live rent free in your brain until you defeat this boss. So you just got him. Oh, almost. there. That's okay.
that one was shaping up to be pretty nice. Pretty nice run there for a second. I can solo Radon in under 20 attempts, but it's taking upwards of 50 on this guy. It's embarrassing. Stop spamming the move. box on that. Oh, no. <laughs> One HP in a dream. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I forgot I was out of flask and I thought I was dead. Whew. That is nice. <laughs> oh, that feels quite nice. Thanks for the GGs. Uh, whoever guessed 11 plus <laughs> on the channel point prediction, did anybody? I'm shaky. <laughs> that one was rough. Yeah, the, the clinch factor was quite high. So, a uh, new uh, boss attempt. 
uh, Elmer of the Briar has ceremonially uh, dethroned poor Fume Knight. Yeah, I doubt that's it. Yeah. <laughs> and I suppose this is it, that there's nothing else in here. Here again. <laughs> Whew, yep. That one felt good. That was hard fought right there. That one felt really good. Okay. So should we do some more exploring? You know, I haven't done this hero's cave, or, or the grave, rather. Hegel, don't tell me that. Don't you dare tell me stuff like that. That's a big nope. Uh, I love the sword moves, though. Like, the moveset was so cool. I was never just straight up angry at the, at the moveset. I'm just angry generally otherwise. got chariot ridden there. Oh yeah, this whole thing. I gotta drop down here. I do like the bleed on this, though. This dagger is pretty nice. Yeah. He has my respect. And also... When my dagger is firmly lodged in his neck, he has even more of my respect. <laughs> but until then, yeah. Cool boss, though. At least he had style, right? He uh, he made the dethroning of Hume Knight okay, in my opinion. I don't know why I healed right there, but I did. Oh. Th that was disgusting. What is that kind of <laughs> Cowardice. AJ, thank you for killing the cowardice uh, with the liquid courage. Till he that one goes down. Oh wait, I've just ran in a circle. I forgot about this. Um hmm. 
Let me think this through here. AJ, how was your stream tonight, dude? Were you playing some Mario Galaxy tonight? I love that game. What a great game. I think I have to make it down there. Well, the timing of these guys is not good. Full of power stars? Heck yeah, dude. Oh yeah, this is how you get past here. Oh geez. I thought I was dead. <laughs> I came here under level before though, and uh, I was like getting one shot by these materials. There we are. Just run, just run, just run. Oh. <laughs> I got body checked. Yep, got the bad bounce. So that's just early grave territory right there. No, don't emote. This, I, I will say, from software in your next game, please make the easy emoting experience easier and better. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong way. Basilisks. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Eagle, enjoy your lurk, dude. I'm guessing you're probably going to sleep, so please enjoy your lurks, enjoy your sleeps, and uh, hope to see you real soon, dude. Let me get some hearts in chat for Hegel. Oh, this is Crucible Duo, and we did one attempt on them. So uh, let's just go ahead and do this. We'll do Boss Crucible Duo, because we only did one attempt uh, before. Let's give this a go. And uh, we'll throw a, 
prediction in the chat here. Um, nobody throw points in the first try because we've already done our first try, technically. Uh, so do two through five, six to ten, or eleven plus. You want to get some points in on it. Another minute left on the channel points here. Oh, my character just needed to sit. <laughs> I mean, they've been running a lot, Stardust, so I could understand that. I could understand that. We'll give you some puppies while the uh, channel point prediction rounds out. And we do have all three up here today. Tonight. Oh. Such... Peaceful sleepiness of the puppers. I wonder what they're dreaming about. Little puppy dreams of treats and things. And I won't say that too loudly so they don't hear me. <laughs> All right, prediction is rounding out. Last chance to get your uh, votes in. We're going to give Crucible Duo a go. This one uh, was pretty tough last time. Boy has the reach. <laughs> Forgot to mention, I'm going for a Pyromancer Sorcerer build. Uh, we'll see if I stick with it, but I've read it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, pyro builds in DS1 are actually quite viable. I've always just enjoyed the melee, so that's why I've stuck with the big old melee builds on either dex or strength on these games, but you can't go wrong with the sorcerer build or, or pyromancer. That's leveling runes. I should have leveled up before I did this. We can get them separated. Just the reach on that spear is crazy.
coming forward too soon. These boys hit hard. think that their combo's done and it's not. Uh, one boy just got a lot more fun. Yeah. Oh boy. Get a little bit of that. A lot of bit of hydrate. cornered me. What a jerk. Because of how his spear tip is uh, located, it's tough to uh, see it when he does his dive at you. sword boy and it's making me really nervous okay I say.
music is really intense too. <laughs> so it doesn't help. friendly fire was on for these guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These guys are just as hard as uh, Ornstein and Smoke. I'd laugh if this took less attempts than the last guy. It's okay though, Stardust. It they could be worse. They could be this fast <laughs> and ruthless. I feel like the spear guy might be the way to go first because he's got a less um, complex moveset. And he's easier to hit because he doesn't have the shield. But it's just creating the distance between him and uh, the other Crucible Knight. need is uh, a greater restorative power on the Estus as well. Or on my flask. I keep calling it Estus. But... Dude, can you stop? Like, that little bit, I don't understand how he travels that fast.
need a stronger weapon for this. And better restorative power. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so six attempts is where we're at on these two. I do have a notebook up so I can start keeping tallies here. So Crucible Duo. We're currently at six attempts. Okay. So I still need to come up with a command to like cancel out. So I do unfortunately have to put win, but it's not a win. <laughs> Just ignore that. Ignore, ignore Wooly Bot. It is not a win. I hate that I have to walk back. Lana. <laughs> Lana. Lana! Danger me. <laughs> Thank you for the danger zone. How are you doing tonight? Welcome on in. Oops. Yep. Okay. <laughs> well, come on in. How was your Monday? Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you had a great weekend. About to do some dishes. I keep asking the dogs why why they don't do the dishes while I'm at work, and they uh, they don't. Yeah, I got slapped pretty hard. It hurt. <laughs> How is Lethal Company treating you, Danger May? I keep hearing really, really good things. Um, but I just haven't had a chance to play it, and I haven't really had a, too much of a chance to watch streams uh, of people playing it yet. But I've heard really, really good things. All right. Let's get above ground here. I think there was another Hero's Grave that I wanted to check out. That seemed like it might be a little bit easier. But then again, I don't know. So let's go check out the other hero's grave that I was thinking about. Uh, which one was that again? Uh, yeah, the other hero's grave was over here, I think. Is this it? No. No, that's not it. No, that's not it. There we are. The Gelmir one. I'll have to check it out. Um, is it PC only? Is there any crossplay? Uh, feel free to tell me more about it. Oh, this is the uh, the magma one. it up already, I think. Nope. Did not mess it up. He's getting, he's getting rocked, <laughs> for sure. All right, how far down does that thing go? Okay, so it's going to be worth it to go off to the one side there, then. To let it go down first. 
these areas are just a bit of a mystery. Okay, then I need to go to the left. So let's let that go upstairs again. And let's run. And let's run. There we go. I think this is where I got last time. And then I got... Uh... Defeated by that dude. Or one of these dudes. Yeah, because there's another archer assassin type dude back there. Danger zone, Archer. <laughs> there we are. There we are. Lots of jump scares, okay. So, as far as I know, it's only PC right now. You work for an alien company traveling to different moons to gather scrap to meet quota. Uh, or you get tossed uh, in the space among uh, oh tossed in the space among a style, and while you are out scavenging, you encounter many monsters that try to eat you. <laughs> and using proximity chat is a must. That does sound like a lot of fun. So it sounds like uh, what you're saying, Danger May. Is it's like Among Us, but with challenging gameplay? Oh, wait. You got Sandy hooked. <laughs> It seems like once Sandy finds a game she really digs, uh, she really digs into the game. Sandy is probably one of the more talented uh, FPS players I know. Okay, so loosely like Among Us, gotcha. That makes sense. Okay, this one had a trap in here, if I remember. Yep. Let's let that clear things out. Or try to, anyway. Because I think I ran out of here into another spot. It ended up being like a chariot area. Oh boy. That's where I died last time. Nope, stop it. I lived through that. That was frightening. And the whole time I expected this thing to pop back up. See, I don't know if I need to go down or up. good. I'm safe back there. <laughs> I 
problem is there's nowhere to go down this way then. Nope, nope, nope. Oof. That was close. <laughs> Screaming and laughing constantly. Well, that sounds like fun. <laughs> spots to uh, hide here. Oh. No, I almost made it. <laughs> I almost made it. Okay. We know the way now. I'm glad they, because they don't have bonfires or sites of grace here, that they actually have that statue near the boss. So we know which way to go this time. Dude. hour stream on December 15th for my birthday and plan to play Lethal Company if you'd like to join. That would be amazing. It's a mod where you can uh, crazy number like 50. Oh my lord. Yeah. Eight, eight sounds like chaos anyway. <laughs> uh, is that a Friday? Danger Man? Is the 15th a Friday? I think I'm streaming that morning, but otherwise I should be available, I think. That would be a lot of fun. If, if you have room, I would love to join. And happy early birthday, too, by the way. I need to remember is it's a skinny 
bit after this stop. Get up, get up. Oh, geez. I don't want to be locked in here with this thing. <laughs> uh, that's scary. That is very frightening. To get down to this level and then have to contend with that. What am I supposed to do with this? I need to get a good look at the other spot there. idea what's going on here. Oh, there's an item there. Maybe that's where I need to go. Now there's probably no way out of here. Oh, look at that. Oh, the guy that has my sword. sweet oh you know we got to do the armor set now um, where's the blood okay bloodhound knight greaves and what about the uh, or glaives what about the greaves and we're still medium load too so we can mid roll with this our cosplay is complete The Gelmir set looks awesome too, man. Uh oh. Okay, I think we're safe. didn't mean to do that. 
I wonder if that's all there is to this one. Maybe there is no boss in this one. If anybody knows this game well, uh, definitely clue me in. Yeah. That's the whole point of the game. Just kill enough enemies so you can complete your cosplay. The end. nowhere to go up there. Pretty much gone everywhere down here. So maybe it is time to exit. If we can, that is. Ooh, there's a little alcove down there. See if we can get to it. It's all just lava from there. Yep. Okay. Could have just gave us something cool while we were down here, but I guess not. <laughs> well, there's so much to this world that in speedruns you just lose a lot of it. just by nature. But speed runs and challenge runs are so fun to watch though. that we've made it out I want to take a quick peek at this Gelmir set see what it looks like too I can tell you I already like the uh, plume out the top of the helm much better might make us overweight though nope Oh, yep, I'm digging this one. I'm 
I'm digging this one. I don't know what it is about that helm, but I'm digging it. And then it's got the big plume. Looks like chocobo feathers. <laughs> I'm down with that. I am down with that. I'm trying to think. I went to Nokron, and I thought I got what I needed from there. Or at least at the point where I couldn't go any further. I didn't run into Blythe down there. Should we go talk to Ronnie? Ninth Mount Gelmir campsite. So there's a arrow that's pointing this way. Maybe let's check that out. Oh, we already did this boss. Maybe that's what it was pointing towards was the uh, the falling star beast. And then which led us to the, the manor this way. Remember what the Seathwater Terminus is? Oh, I've been here before. Okay, we've already done this bit. Um, I do need to continue further this way, though. Let's go this way. They're just looking too cute. It's too cute. Statues or things I actually have to fight? Okay, those are statues. Oh, oh yeah, just fall off the cliff. No, no, no. Not me fall off the cliff. There we go. <laughs> oh, now he might. Nope, just hanging on for dear life. I tried to escape, but could not. I would have loved if he would have just fallen over the cliff. <laughs> the last he did not. I think I tried this before. I was met with a great amount of hostility.
these poor dudes want nothing to do with this. Well, your accomplices to murder now. Yeah, I thought I explored up here, but I guess not. Because I don't think I can go in here yet. If at all. Fine. I'll give you a good rating for your message. Yeah, I mean, that's true. They were kind of camped out here. I did kind of ruin that. I did kind of uh, invite myself to their party unannounced. Unbeknownst to them. Yeah, let's ride up around this way. Alright, this is where I fought Margit 2.0. Or the one of the best accessories I have on me right now. natural border in the land. I can't really go up that way. So the terrain is pretty blocky. There is a path right here, though, it looks like. set of stairs. So I kind of want to round stream out by finding that bounty. Which is going to be off in this area. That's kind of like way out there. what he's doing. We are still planning to do one Danger May in January. We 
are putting a, a pause on it until after the new year. Uh, with everybody's weekends fairly filled up and everything, we uh, kind of have to wait. Oh yeah, this guy. I forgot about him. I don't really have time to get a prediction up here. <laughs> Ooh, nice. I tried to do this without a horse last time, and it was pretty bad. Oh no. He's getting big powers now. my lock on to him. Ooh, he lost his uh his power up. Very nice. Yeah, we do need that horse horse to horse combat here, uh Jerry. Come on now. Get out of those rocks, dude. Good job, Torrent. <laughs> First try. Look at that. Very nice. 
Ah, uh, so the wall wasn't the boss. Or wasn't to a boss. The boss was blocking the wall. Aha. You know, that is nice to get another boss fight here before the end of the stream. That torrent was amazing. The torrent deserves all of the GGs there. And look at the runes we got. We got enough for maybe a couple levels here. So let's go endurance and more decks. This is going to be the dexiest build you've ever seen. Goodest boy. Um, I was going to ask you what you meant, Jared, because uh, I've been known to have things go over my head, but uh, that one was a little too cryptic for, for me there. Usually when we make it to castles, things aren't too good. Oh man, this is our first big gaze upon the Erd tree. Oh, this is beautiful. It's a huge tree. Just the scale alone is fantastical. The royal capital. Ooh, look at that dragon. You know, that's the one thing we haven't gone back to do is to fight that uh, dragon that's at the uh, top of the Altus Plateau, but... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, la, la. Oh, whoa. King in the castle, king in the castle. I have a chair, I have a chair. I do have a chair, Jared. <laughs> Yeah, these gold uh, rooftops are pretty amazing looking. Uh, these things scare me, though. Oh. Shooting magic bubbles at me. Kind of cool how they're providing uh, some of the music of the atmosphere of the area. Oh, that is haunting. That dragon is awesome. I need uh, a little bit of a postcard. need a postcard. Mm. I look good. <laughs> I mean, really good. Hey, everyone! Come and see how good I look! Thank you, Jared. You are the best hype man a streamer could ask for. I don't like the look of that. I 
was definitely more bark than bite. Oh, this is a beautifully overgrown study. Resisting the urge to not just roll through everything here. Yeah, the ambient music is so good in this game. I really do agree with you on that, Stardust. Because uh, the first Souls games are pretty much boss music. There's not a lot for, like, ambient They probably didn't deserve that. But. It just never ends. It never ends, Dance. <laughs> it never ends. The Elden Ring endures forever. Welcome in, by the way. Good to see you. Had uh, one really tough boss tonight. Another tough boss that I just uh, couldn't bring myself to uh, bang my head against the wall against after the other previous tough boss. So <laughs> we got the uh, Elmer. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Blair or something like that. And then I tried the Crucible duo again uh, to no avail. Crucible duo is just too hard. But yeah, Elmer of the Briar. Thank you, Stardust. Ooh, this boy is going to be rough. Out too soon. Get him. Get him. There we go. <laughs> Over leveled because you did the game out of order on accident. Hey, that's fine. Uh, I don't think I found more, to be honest. Uh, I don't know where they're at in my inventory. Yeah, it's been a while since I found some. I know I need to upgrade that bit. Oh no. Got these jerks just tossing stuff at me. Let's get big guy in the 
narrow passageway here. Yeah, I know what I need. I just, uh... Just haven't found any, I think. Come on, dude. Drop a thing? That stinks. Mikola's Lily. Uh, it's amazing, like, the type of things, like, I think I luck out sometimes against these knights because I know in some of the prior games, especially Dark Souls 3, how many times I died to them was just unending. Oh boy. Yep. There's that guy with his auto crossbow. <laughs> yeah, that might be a good spot to leave it. We got plenty to explore here next stream. I think that's a good spot. We got three bosses tonight. I'm okay with that. Definitely okay with that. <laughs> Plus, I've stayed up pretty late anyway. So, we are at... Where are we at here? Uh, room level 76 with our good boy Papu. And we're at the uh, Lendell Royal Capital at 57 hours into the game. So plenty to explore next week. <laughs> plenty to explore. Uh, let us find a raid target here. And while I do, we'll give you some puppy cam. Uh, of course, if I know how to find that. Uh, Jared, our beer tonight is the um, Imperial Hazy Jane from Brewdog. It is the fourth entry in the uh, Advent calendar. I need to post that on the socials after I get done with stream, too. <laughs> Sleepy puppy baby. We can read. Looks like Bloob is doing a just chatting stream. I know they were working on Ocarina of Time, so I'm not sure if they plan on working on that any further tonight. Uh, let's see. Braindead Rascal is doing some Kingdom Hearts on their first playthrough, working on the Platinum Trophy. Uh, let's see. We have Hey Buddy playing some Super Mario RPG. Oh, it's been a while since I've uh, raided Amorous. I think uh, we could raid over there. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Just uh, need to get their stream up, make sure they're not on a BRB or anything like that. They're playing a game called In Stars and Time. It looks like a bit of a visual novel type game. Yeah, let's go over there. Uh, again, a huge thank you to uh, the crazy amount of raids we had tonight from Lacquer, uh, Dark Bahamut, uh, Wobble Pop, and of course, Tiny Murderous Penguin. Thank you very, very much for sharing your communities with us tonight. 
Uh, thank everyone for the new follows and also the uh, the resub from Wobble Pop at a whole entire year, dude. Thank you very, very much. Let me give uh, Wobble Pop another shout out here. And then we're going to give Amaris a shout out so you know where we're heading. You know where we're going. We'll be uh, back, uh, same schedule next week. Uh, we're going to be doing some Elden Ring Monday. Uh, Wednesday, we're going to be doing some Wind Waker. And then, of course, uh, Friday with uh, Final Fantasy 16. I will be doing a longer stream uh, this Friday. Uh, not much longer, but just a tiny bit longer um, since I don't have to work this Friday. And we'll do a similar thing the following Friday, except maybe a little bit longer than that. Uh, just to get some more good time in with our final two. Those will be the last two Final Fantasy Fridays of the year uh, for me. Uh, because I will be taking some time off near the holidays to go spend some time with family. I do have one stream we're going to do on the 26th. If you want to preemptively put that on your calendar on Boxing Day. Uh, my nephew and I are going to spread some holiday cheer and do a good cozy uh, holiday stream that day. So. That is the plan. So without further ado, we're going to raid over to Amorous Sky. Make sure you find yourself one of those raid messages on the way out the door. First one is for subs, and second one will be for non-subs. And uh, right before we do that, just want to say take care of yourselves, everybody. Stay hydrated. Get plenty of rest. Uh, don't stay up uh, till the following day because you're playing Elden Ring. Or do, because it's... <laughs> Uh, it's uh, just a whole different beast, and I'm I'm really digging it. Uh, it was a long time building up through all the other FromSoft games to get here, but I'm really, really enjoying this one. No matter how many frustrated attempts it takes at uh, Elmer uh, of the Briar. <laughs> Take care of each other, okay? A little kindness goes a long, long way. Be the brightness in somebody else's day, if you can. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on Wednesday with more Wind Waker. Uh, Jared, Danger May, um, Stardust, anybody lurking, good to see you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. Take care, and uh, let's join the raid on over to Amorous Sky. Good night, everybody. Big cheers.